Eric Tanaka has come out to slam his critics. People who have been calling for him to be sacked. You see it on Facebook, you see it on Twitter, you see it on YouTube, you see it on all the social media platforms. There are some people that want Eric Tanaka to be sacked. People among the fan base that want him to be sacked. And he has come out and he had some words for them. And this is what he said. I see the comments, but either they don't have um, any knowledge of football or they don't have any knowledge of managing a football team or they are just not up to it. So Tanaka is telling you if you want him to be sacked, if you are always calling him to be sacked, you probably have no football knowledge or you don't know how to manage a football team because according to him, he has been through a lot, right? So he, he he's kind of saying he deserves more time. Here's what he had to say um about patience. He said, I think there are many people who see the problems and they are patient. I think the fans have the patience. You have seen it many, many times. And yes, you have people complain about um the fan, the match going fans still applauding the squad, still clapping for the squad. But yes, it has been a shit season. And of course, Eric Tanag has to take some blame, but it is not all down to him. We have had injuries and we have had many issues with the seal of the club. There are another problems that uh have contributed to how shit this season has been. And he also said about the support for today's game. He said, I would say the fans always support us. We are together. We are unified and definitely we need this because we are in a very difficult situation lately. And he also said, we will put out a team with a good plan and I'm sure the players will fight and I hope our fans will back us again. And yes, the fans will always be there. I'm going to watch this game today. I'm going to be supporting the team. I hope we we'll win. Of course, I'm tired of the season. I want the season to end. I'm tired of watching us play. I want the new rebuild to kick on and start moving forward. But we have four games to go. Yeah, four games to go. And I'm here for those four games from today's game against Arsenal to the last game against Man City in the FA Cup final. I'm here for those games. And I'll be rooting for the team. And I'll be rooting for, rooting for players that, you know, turn up for those games. It's as simple as that. I'm a United fan and I'll always be. So those that want him to be sacked... Like I said, those that want to be want him to be sacked, just support the team. And when he's sacked, at the, if he's sacked at the end of the season, he's sacked. If he's not, then pick pick your pick a side. You can, you can never be Eric uh, for so long. Eric uh, out for so long. So pick a side. If he remains a United manager, what will you do? Those that want him to be want him to be sacked. If he remains a United manager, will you stop supporting your club? So just support your club and let's see what happens at the end of the season. Tan also said, um, the United job has been tougher than I expected. I don't regret being here for one second. This is a massive club. You don't know the challenges you have to face until you are in it. But I wanted this challenge. Definitely. United is one of the biggest clubs, if not the biggest club in the world. And we are a sleeping giant. And to resurrect this club will take a lot of effort. It will take a lot of effort. Any manager that comes to this club thinking is, is going to be a very easy rebuild. I'm sorry, but you are in for a long haul. Because we have had how many managers who have come here and, and, and have not succeeded. And you can't just come in and expect you to see success in the first two years or first three years. It's a really, really long ride. And yeah, Tanak has been here. He said it. He's relation to the experience. He wants to be here. He's very happy. He made a decision to come to United. And yes, all we have to do is to back him. We have a, we are getting a good structure at the club and it, it looks like we can succeed when given time, when getting the right players and when given time to succeed, we can succeed. And Tanak also said, um, there's a great spirit, there's a great team spirit in almost every game they fought, not on Monday against Kisapolis. That is why I was so disappointed because in all other games they have fought. I can't have any doubt about this. And some people say the, the squad are against the hard, the squad are not really playing for him anymore. You have the English media, some locals and every other English, uh, English journalist coming out and giving false rumors or first, um, updates about the fans, about the players not supporting, um, everything hard. But yet you see us, you know, losing against, losing some games and come back to winning those games. If these players really want to sack the hand, they would have done that long, long, long time ago. But at the end of the day, even, even though they are with everything hard, many of them are not good enough and they would have to go. So tell me in the comment section below, what do you think about everything hard slamming his critics, those that wanted to be sacked and saying that you, if you, 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 if you don't understand what's happening, it means you have no football knowledge or you don't know anything about managing a football team. And also, you know, you're not just up for it because there are many mitigating um, um, circumstances around our failure this season. Even Gary Neville, who was against, who said that the injuries are not an excuse for, um, uh, for why we are so bad this season. He said that uh, after so, um, in, some weeks ago, 
Then he did an interview with Eric Ten Hag, and Eric Ten Hag explained every single thing to him. And since then, what has Gary Neville said? He has said Eric Ten Hag needs to be given one more season, and let's see how he can succeed under the Ineos group. So, definitely, all we can do, we have been sacking manager for years, and all we have to do right now is keep this manager and give him the right tools and see if by this time next year, Ten Hag has done poorly, you sack him. It's very, very simple. But right, right, right now, it's absolutely no concrete reason to just suck Eric Ten Hag just like that. It will be the same story all over, all over again. But yeah, I wish us success in the game today. Um, it's like a few hours, five hours on my end before the game. Let's see what happens. Glory, 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 Manchester United. I hope we win. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I hope we win. And if we don't win, we we'll move on to the next game. But definitely, I hope we win. On my predicted lineup, I think the only difference between our last game and this game in terms of lineup will be, um, Bruno Fernandez who comes in for Missing Mount. I think we'll probably have the same squad. Maybe we'll have Rashford on the bench also. But let's see what happens. Listen, Martinez definitely can start this game. Definitely won't be on the bench. Not ready. They have said he won't force him to, he won't, um, rush him to start. And yeah, let's see what happens with this game. And I'll see you all on the next one.